All right, so I'm gonna show you how I export my videos for YouTube, Vimeo, or Facebook in Adobe Premiere Pro. Of course, the export settings depend entirely on how your footage was shot and where you intend to upload or release your video, but today I'm gonna show you how I export my YouTube videos and short films, which I shoot in 4K resolution. So let's get right into it. Cineguac. So this is a short horror film I made for my other channel, Social House Films, and I shot this in 4.6K resolution, but I just wanna export this so I can upload it to YouTube in the highest possible quality. So let's first go to File, Export, Media. From here, we wanna to go to Format and select H.264. Here we have a bunch of preset options, and if we scroll down, you'll see we can export for Vimeo in 2160p 4K resolution, and of course we can export in 1080 if we want. And down here, we have YouTube 1080 and YouTube 2160 in 4K. And if you want to upload to Facebook, you can go up here and choose any of these preset options. The difference in settings between these are relatively minor, and whichever you choose will be changing the settings around anyway, but let's go ahead and choose YouTube 4K, since I intend to upload this to YouTube in 4K resolution. And we can click here on output name to change the name of our file to whatever we want, and choose the location we'd like to save our file to. So let's just save it to the desktop, and name this file under the bed short horror film and hit save. Now, make sure both your export video and export audio options are checked off because we wanna export both audio and video. And right here, you can see the output dimensions are automatically set to 3840 by 2160, and our frame rate is 23.976, despite our source footage being shot and edited in 4608 by 2592. These are just the best possible dimensions for YouTube, and you'll see the frame rate should stay the same. So let's just scroll down here. You can select render at maximum bit depth if you'd like, but we'll be customizing our bit rate anyway, so let's just keep moving on. Now right here, the bit rate settings is the most overlooked and most important part of your export process. First, we're gonna wanna change this to VBR2 pass. It'll take a lot longer to export with this setting, but it will undoubtedly increase the quality of your video. Only keep it at VBR1 pass if you're in a rush. Otherwise, I highly, highly recommend changing it to VBR2 pass. Next, we want to increase the target bitrate. Now, if you just do a quick Google search, you'll see the recommended standard bitrates for each resolution. So if you're exporting in 2160p, it suggests 44 to 56 megabits per second. But since YouTube especially tends to compress every single video, which ends up decreasing the quality, and sometimes even leads to this really ugly banding, especially in low light settings, we want to make up for this by boosting the bitrate even higher just to accommodate for YouTube's compression algorithm. So let's just change the target bitrate to 60 and the maximum bitrate to 80. So now the majority of your video will have a bitrate of 60, and only during the parts of your video where there's a lot of movement or a lot of action will the bitrate actually increase to a maximum of 80 megabits per second. This will decrease that ugly banding I was talking about a moment ago. And you'll see that the estimated file size is now significantly larger than it was before. So if we change this back to how it was, the file size is now a lot smaller. And if we ever wanna compress this file and make it even smaller, we can just lower the bit rates, but we want super high quality. So let's just change this back to 60 and 80. And whenever I remember, I check off this use maximum render quality option. And that's about it. We can just go ahead and export and you'll be happy to notice that when you upload your videos to YouTube, they will look incredibly high quality, incredibly sharp, and everyone will be asking you how you prevent that ugly YouTube compression. And you can tell them, oh, I watched this really quick, cool tutorial on this channel called Cineguac. Go ahead and check them out. Anyway, hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.